And welcome back. This is Baldur's Scuba with more Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. I'm joined as always by my side quest wrapping up squad of Choco and Ronaldo. When we last left off, we were in Gizmaluk's grotto trying to finish up some side quests. We have some more to finish up today, and that is why we are back in Chocobo's Paradise. Now that we have finished the Mognet Central side quest, and we have dug up all of the treasures in the world, for some reason Mognet Central counts as a treasure in the world, Fat Chocobo has something new to tell us. Choco, you finally found all the treasures in the world. It is now time for you to start your life here. What? Don't forget about me, Koopo. How could you forget about me, Koopo? I'm gonna live here too. It's you again, eh? Like I said before, only Chocobos can live here. I'm sorry. But Choco needs me, Koopo. There are no exceptions. I apologize, small one. Koopo! Forget about it, Mene. This world is only for Chocobos. Let's go home. You can come visit. It's not like you'll never see Choco again. I'm afraid this is the last time you'll ever see Choco. Damn, Fat Chocobo, you're nothing but a downer today. You led Choco here, but now that he is here, you can no longer enter. Well, I know that's true for us. I, I cannot enter this place unless I'm riding Choco, but Mene seems to be able to find his way here no problem. No fair, Koopo. But I'll give you something in exchange. I actually need to clear space for this. We receive a fat Chocobo card for our efforts. Choco, it is time to say goodbye. Quack. Koopo, are you sure, Choco? Quack. Koopo, I understand. I'm going home, Koopo. Take care, Choco. Quack. Goodbye, Koopo. <laughs> He doesn't seem so happy about that one. Koopo. In order to get here, you, or to get this to go, uh, you do need to also pick up uh, Ronaldo's ultimate weapon, uh, which is underneath the destroyed Shimmering Island. So, of course, you cannot uh, start this until you are on disc four. How will I get home? Aren't we flying? Wait, you can't fly, Ronaldo. Thanks for rubbing it in, man, eh? Not that heavy. You can carry me, Mene. Apparently, the rest of the party is not here with us. Otherwise, there'd be no way we would ask Mene to do this. I don't know where they are, like, canon-wise right now. We'll say they're back on the airship, I guess. Hmm. I never expected to run into a problem like this, Koopo. Okay, Koopo. Try hanging on to my feet, Koopo. Koopo, Koopo, Koopo! Huh? K koopo Whoa. Koopo phone! Hey! This is not good. Quack! Hey, listen, Mene. Did you hear that? That's Choco. Quack! This is Chocobo's paradise, Koopo. It's probably some other Chocobo. No. Choco has a very distinct call, as if some loser was just making a sound with his mouth. Quack! Choco! Choco! Quack! Koopo, I knew you'd come back! See? Choco needs me, Koopo! You're the one who needs Choco, man. Quack! Let's go back to the forest, Koopo! Quack! Well, I can finally go home now. Quack! Koopo! And by go home, they mean uh, right back inside, because that's our plan. Uh, this is something that I did not know happened for a long time. I had to find out about this one much after I, I, my first time through this one, definitely. found out about this one like a couple years ago. I, did, I just didn't know, because it seems like you're done here, right? seems like you are all done there's no reason to do anything more here in fact though if you were full on cards and tried to talk to the fat chocobo to get your fat chocobo card uh, which is really the reason that we talked to him right 
he gives you a hint that he doesn't give you when you're not full on cards, which is try to challenge him to a card game. The implication uh, when you're full on cards is that he's going to give you the reward, which is a card. But it's also a hint now. So, well, let's try talking to him first. I never thought he'd refuse to stay in our paradise. Your paradise sucks, that's why. But maybe it's just as well. Now, let's try to challenge him to a card game. When you leave, try visiting all the world's beaches by yourself. Do not fear the monsters. I'll grant you peace and restore you once you've visited them all. The hell does that mean? It's a very convoluted way of saying we're going to spend a lot of time on a side quest. A card game? Why not? Now, normally I just say no, but uh, he has a card that I don't have, and he's really easy to beat, so why not? A visitor once taught me how to play, but not necessarily play well. Well, he probably does play well, but he just has really sucky cards. Uh, I have cleared out everything that I didn't need, really. Uh, we have a lot of cards. Uh, I'll spend a bonus video, probably just like half of a bonus video, going over uh, all the different cards that you can get in the game. Uh, probably a little time on how to get them. If I don't, just flat out show you how to get them as I get them. Uh, we're probably going to go with a pure airship squad this time. Honestly, I just need cards that do fairly well. I don't necessarily need the best cards in the world. Mm. Alright, maybe not just the full airships. Uh, let's go for the elixir as well. Why not? And I go first. That's never a good sign. Put the elixir out first. Why not? Uh, there's his cards. They're all chocobos. As you can see, the chocobos are not very good cards, but I'll somehow manage, I'm sure. Where do I want to go? Why not there? As you might imagine, I'm going to win, hopefully, all of the combos. <laughs> Shit. Um... I might lose this. We got a draw. Uh, yes? All right, let's do another rematch. Holy crap, I didn't think I'd lose. Let's, let's bring the full airship squad in this time. Full airship. The elixir clearly screwed me over. That's the problem. Like I said, he's, like, he's not a bad card player. It's just that he has terrible cards. All right, let, let's try to get a sweep here. I, mean, I don't actually want to, but I'm gonna, I don't want all the cards, but I'm going to see what I can do. All right, yeah, it, it, it does not matter. The airship will win. It's a better card. All right, we'll put that one there. Yeah, no sweep, but that's fine. I do win nonetheless. Took a couple tries, though. That is aggravating. One of the reasons I'm not a big fan of this one, there's too much randomness to it, but, you know, it's still a good game, a little mini game. It's just that that randomness does plague me from time to time. All right, we're done. I just wanted the one Chocobo card, and we're good to go. Now, the fat Chocobo gave you a hint. Um, kind of like, go to the beach, pretty much. You have anything to say? Are you sure you won't find dead pepper very easily in the outside world? You want all the dead pepper I own? Oh, that's right. This one will still offer you dead peppers at this point, even though they've made it clear that there's no point in having dead peppers anymore. You've gotten all the treasures out there in the world that Choco can get. Obviously not all the treasures. There's obviously still dungeons we need to go through, bosses we need to take on, all that good stuff. But as far as Choco is concerned, we have found all the treasures in the world. With Joko. However, we're tasked with something that sounds so much worse than it actually is. Uh, we are tasked now with visiting all the beaches in the world. As a result of visiting all the beaches in the world, we'll get a, re a small reward. I guess from the fat chocobo, it's kind of 
hard to say who that is from. Now, I debated for a while how I wanted to actually do this, and I thought the best way, really, at the end of the day, is for me to just do it on screen. I'm going to be visiting all the beaches in the world, and I'm going to be doing it in real time, so that you guys can follow along if you do wish to do so. Uh, we're going to land first on the Lost Continent, just wherever there is a beach. Uh, what we want to do, or sorry, wherever there's a forest, and then we'll head to the beach. And now what you want to do is get off the chocobo and press the circle button. You hear that little ding? That means you've done it. Now we have to do that 20 more times. All right, that's one. I'm going to try to keep track as we go along so that I hopefully don't miss any. Now, that was the first one. Crap. Where's the second one? It's on this side. I remember that. I think it, it's further this way. There it is. There it is. All right. So that's the two that are on the lost continent. Those are the two that you want to get. The easiest way to get this done, and the way that I'm going to do it from this point forward, is to run along the ocean. It's, it's the easiest way easiest way. We'll go up the northern side of the outer continent now. Uh, there are a total of six on the outer continent. You might notice a purple haze around here. That's to be expected. Uh, that's surrounding the Aifa tree. That is our destination, if you do remember. You can only get there by airship, however. You cannot get there with the chocobo as much as I'm sure you would like to. Right there's number three. And we will just continue forward. And I will do my best to edit in the chocobo music as necessary. The problem is really going to be that small little spot where I don't want to edit it in. I want to take it out. Uh, I believe there's one around here somewhere? No. No. All right, here's number four, though. I'm going to try to keep track as we keep on going. Try to keep track. I don't have all of them memorized. Uh, I'll be the first to admit that. I'm just kind of running around and I should be able to find them all. I have done it before. Like I said, it wasn't the first time I played it because I figured we were done with the Chocobo's Paradise by this point. I believe that is five. And this is technically an island one. This does not count as the regular uh, outer continent one. Just by my reckoning. Then we'll head over here. I believe this is six. Unless I missed one. 